In the papers today, the Bank of England may now be able to justify another round of quantitative easing to boost the struggling economy, as inflation fell back to 2.5% in August. Although rising petrol and food prices threaten to push inflation higher in coming months, many economists believe the economy is so weak that the bank will feel compelled to act again in November when the current round of easing runs out. Older people have seen their cost of living rise by almost a quarter since the start of the credit crunch, and their costs are still increasing faster than those for the rest of the country, according to Saga. This is because they spend a larger proportion of their money on services such as gas, gas and electricity, which have ri risen disproportionately in recent years. In property news, Lib Dem councillors are fighting the government's new home extension plans, claiming that the changes will not boost the economy and will lead to neighbourhood disputes, as it goes against the spirit of the Localism Act, which is meant to make it easier for communities to reject unwanted developments. And finally, senior economists are calling for ministers to end national pay bargaining and for public sector workers to negotiate their salaries individually. National pay bargaining is worsening public services and making it harder for the private sector to recruit workers in many areas, threatening to exacerbate regional differences and undermine an economic recovery.